All right, today we're going to do a Borealis. Uh, I think this one is of Iceland, so it's kind of a special nightlight that happens when the sun's ray kind of hits the atmosphere during the winter time. It kind of creates these special effects. The question of the day is, what was the Great Flood of 1913? All right, let's start with the colors. Titanium white, Mars black, yellow ochre, midnight brown, burn umber, phthalo blue, quin blue, phthalo green, quin red. All right, let's get the party started. All right, so for this Borealis, what we're gonna do is gonna have this really brilliant sky. It's gonna be over the ocean, and we're gonna have some rocks in the foreground to kind of break that up, so you'll have a nod. The rocks will kind of point us into here as well as the Boreas will pull us down so we'll have this nice center point kind of focus here. Alright, for this one we kind of laid in the kind of generic blue sky. It's going to be a lot more variety, going to be more intense purples as we go along as well as adding the Borealis, which will be this bright green kind of thing. Um, so we have kind of an orange going here, and I have to bring that back and forth, so it's going to be a little tough because they're contrary colors and tend to turn to mud, so you probably have to layer that one after another. You got this kind of turquoise sea going in, it's really generic at this point. Um, you need to kind of sharpen it from, have this nice brightness going through it, so it'll reflect the si sky somewhat. And as well here you have kind of the circle in now. This is from a time lapse of the, um, the water's just kind of choppy, so I might change that to more choppier look. All right, for this layer, we're gonna take this neutral blue and start adding in the really dark purples here, um, this reddish kind of tinge coming in from the highlights, as well as kind of this sky is a much lighter orange here, so that should be really interesting to put in it with a kind of a darker, really gray, <coughs> gray orange in here. So that'll be mostly gray orange and then a really brilliant orange right on the sunset. We're gonna have this nice uh, shimmering light um, green come across here, which will reflect from here as well. And we got to clear up this cloud, um, the surf here, which is looking pretty bad at the point. basically six blocks back and it flooded all the way up to the second story on the nearest buildings and all the way where my house is properly where it's basically three blocks from the river and even that house probably flooded up to the first level with the whole basement completely flooded so all these houses got destroyed all this retail behind me was destroyed by this river here so you can see this um, I think they built this since then which is this huge thing recently uh, that was about maybe a third of the way up, so it got really pretty high recently. So that river fluctuates quite a bit as far as when rain hit and then it floods up, uh, similar to kind of how the LA River floods. And so they built this embankment here. I'm not sure if it covers everything. They have dams all the way through this now. But at the time they didn't have dams and that just flooded several blocks down. And it's one of the major events of Miamisburg. Another really cool history of it is there's this place called the Hamburger Wagon. 
Um, so it was this guy, right after the flood, there were a lot of people homeless, obviously, with all their ho homes destroyed. And he started making hamburgers right in the street and serving all these homeless people and really kind of brought the town back to life, got people back on their feet. And then after you know a couple weeks, everyone's kind of making camps and figuring out what to do. He closed up shop. He's like, oh, I'm done. And the people are like, no, no, you have to bring back these hamburgers, bring back these hamburgers. And so they brought back it as the hamburger wagon, which is this little, you know, wagon that you would have in the 1900s, right before cars kind of became popular with Henry Ford. And he sold hamburgers out of the little wagon and he wheeled it in from a house and just parked it there and then made hamburgers. And they've been going four generations strong. The crazy thing is I tried it the other day just to be like, wow, this amazing burger from Miamisburg. <laughs> and you go there and it's like a hamburger made about this big, you know, kind of old school style, obviously from the 1913s. They drop it in a pile of grease, right? Which is just, they're basically deep frying hamburgers. And as they're deep frying these hamburgers, they put a huge slice of onion, like literally like, I don't know, like, a, like half my finger, right? <laughs> They put a slice of hammer and then they put a big dill pickle like a lengthwise, which that's okay. Not perfect, you know, obviously sliced pickles are better, but just a dill pickle limp, not even crisp. And then these really generic buns, which back in the day that was probably like, hey, the top of the line, right? <laughs> but after McDonald's, Wendy's come out, Burger King, Jack in the Box, all these other burgers came out. I was like, they haven't innovated since a hundred years and it's just like, oh my God. I'm not, I'm not kidding, it's probably the worst burger I had in my life from a place that's a restaurant. <laughs> but yeah, that's the flood of 1913. Hope you guys like it. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So this one's really cool. It has this really green, um, red over the kind of sunrise has, or sunset still lasting there. You got a little bit of Borealis in this uh, sky, so it's pretty cool. You got a little bit of reflection in the sun in a ocean and you have some of the surf which has been uh, blurred out so it's kind of an interesting effect from the photo and I kind of sharpened that up a little bit so it doesn't look it looks unrealistic in the photo <laughs> which is kind of funny the painting looks more realistic pay right? but um, I, yeah, I just wanted to kind of put that in there I thought it'd be a little bit better um, the horizon is not perfectly straight I mean I could repaint that but I think I'm fine with it as is so just kind of gives it a little bit off and you're like, oh, that's interesting. It's a little bit off center. So um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below and I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching guys.